everyone, my name is Lizzie. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing good, feeling good, and enjoying the last day of your weekend. <laughs> um, it was a beautiful weekend here. It was over 90 degrees every day. It was a very hot. I'm from central New York, so it's a little bit of a shock because I'm not used to it. But I can't complain. It was beautiful. Um, let's get right into it. This video is going to help you ladies out there be prepared for any situation this summer. I'm going to help break down what you should have if you're on the go. And I broke it down to three categories. I did this. Three categories. <laughs> Let me try that again. The first one, I'm going to break down what you should have in your trunk, in your car, in your glove box, and in your purse this summer to be prepared for everything that could happen and be that inner Girl Scout and have everything you need. Like I said, for any situation, you're not going to be caught in a bad situation <laughs> without any way of helping yourself. So, again, Pat. I will timestamp below. So if you're just interested in one category, go below in the description box. Find what category you are interested in and go to that. Or you can watch them all. So category one, what you should have in your car, your trunk, your glove box, and your purse this summer to be prepared for everything. Um, category two, um, what hair and nail products can you use on a budget? This is for middle to poor class neighborhoods like me. I'm going to break down stuff. I went through my entire house. I went through all my products. I pulled what you can get on a budget that works great for whatever situation summer brings for your skin and your nails and how to look good and like I said, save your wallet. And category number three is the same thing for skin and health products. I will be reviewing, telling you what you should have this summer and helping you save a little bit of money. So whatever one you're interested in, again, go to the description box below, find your category or watch them all. Please give this a like if you took something from it and you want more videos like this on how to be prepared, let me know what you like and I will keep going with cool videos to help you stay organized, successful and prepared. <laughs> the little girl scout me is hooking you up today. Let's get right in to the first section and that will be what's in your trunk, glove box, car and purse this summer to be prepared for everything. Hey there. Okay, so category one, we're going to break it down. We're going to start in your trunk. Then we're going to talk about what you should have in your car, whether you have a little car caddy or just in your console, what you should have in your glove box, and what you should have in your purse to kind of help you organize into sections because I'm a Virgo and I'm all about organization. You don't have to do it my way. Just find something that works for you. But what, regardless of what your situation is as far as organizing, this will be helpful for anyone with or without kits. Um, some things I'm going to show you and some things I'm just going to tell you. If you want to get a notebook and a pen to keep some notes, um, pause it and go ahead and do so. Please give this a like if it resonated, if it was helpful for you, if you want more of these in the future. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to help my channel grow. Share this video anywhere that it could be useful to someone. And thank you so much for watching. All right, let's get right into it. Let's talk about your trunk. What are some things you should have in your trunk? I break it down into categories. I find a box that, like, maybe I ordered something and it came in. Fold the corners in so it's open. It's not something you're going to close. This is something I put my drinks and other stuff in. So in your box, this is what you should have. Um, if you are a diabetic or you have a issue with low blood sugar or you're somebody who gets very dizzy if they don't eat or that's my case I have to always have something on hand because I sometimes forget to I skip breakfast lunch I, I get doing what I'm doing and then all of a sudden I'm so hungry and I'm dizzy because that happens to me especially when I just get so into projects but this is important for diabetics I always have you can get Minute Maid orange juice in single bottles. You don't have to refrigerate those. Or you can get pineapple juice. That's going to help you get your sugars up right away if you need to. So I, I'm not going to show you that. But uh, I always used to keep that in my trunk. I always keep a case, like six a six-pack of regular water because warm or not that's going to help you uh, i'm i'm somebody who hikes a lot and goes out walking i always want something for my dog or me to drink if i'm out somewhere and i'm really thirsty working um don't get dehydrated this summer keep some beverages in your car i i like to keep a gatorade in there as well with those electrolytes if you're not feeling good those are good to have on in your car and i also keep 
I used to keep in my college days a Pedialyte in my truck. If you're partying a lot this summer and you're staying the night somewhere, have water and Pedialyte and Gatorade in there. So when you need to drive home in the morning, you're not feeling so sick. Um, I always keep Ritz crackers or saltine crackers, Triscuits, something like salted peanuts. These aren't something that are going to go bad in your trunk for a while. They're, if they get hot, they're not going to leak all over. But if you're like starving and you need something to eat, one, they're healthy. They're going to give you some protein. They got whole wheat in there. They're going to give you some substance. So if you're really hung over, this is another good thing to eat. Or if you're like drinking too much and you feel sick, this is something that you can eat um, that isn't going to damage your body a lot. Also, if you are a coffee drinker, um, I always have in that little box, uh, especially when I was going camping and stuff. I'm not a coffee drinker. I like hot cocoa. This is the only kind of caffeinated drink I like. It's delicious. It's instant. All you need is hot water. Say you're camping and nobody has coffee that you like. This is You're going to be so happy you brought this if you're at work and nobody drinks your coffee or you, you go somewhere in the coffee shit. You can just ask for hot water when at a rest stop you can get hot water this in your car is going to one help you wake up especially if you're driving at night and there's nowhere around <laughs> other than like it sometimes when you go to rest stops everything's closed um they usually have a microwave out or you can get hot water from somewhere and a gas station they usually have a coffee machine but you can get just hot water for tea you can save yourself some money um have that in your trunk as well so I don't keep a bunch of food in there. It's just like stuff. I'm a very big survival person. So I want some things in my car. Like if I'm stuck in my car or if something happens in this world, I have like one or two days worth of shit. Like I can live off of that for two days with that water and Gatorade and that stuff in my trunk. I'll be all right. I'm not going to starve. But anyway, it also works in a pinch when you're not feeling good and you need some food or you're dehydrated. All right, this, I also, in this box, I keep an extra leash, a towel for my dog. Um, well, I'll get to that later, but like her doggy um, life jacket, any kind of dog toys that you throw on the beach with them and you just want on the go, I keep those in the box as well. I have pets, so that would be a good way for pet stuff to be in there. Um, all right, now in my trunk, I always have a duffel, and inside this duffel is everything I need if I'm staying the night somewhere, if I'm going from work to an event, because let's face it, um, it's daylight longer in the summer months, and when we get out of work, maybe someone's like, hey, random having a barbecue tonight, do you want to come after work, and you didn't bring anything to wear, this, everything in the duffel is going to hook you up in those kinds of situations. So let's talk about let's go to the clothes first so I'm per a person who's very active trying to lose weight and I'm working out a lot so um, say I'm at the office and I want to go from the office to the gym so I want to be prepared and usually I'm a Virgo and I have that prepared but some days I forget and I don't want to have that excuse well I can't go on my hike or I can't work out because I'm working and I, I don't want to do it in my workout clothes so I always keep a pair of workout shorts you could also um, swim in these, so it doubles as, um, say you're just having a bloated day and you just want to wear this over your bathing suit, that can also work. It's two uses. I can work out in it. Say I, I wore an outfit that's a bit too warm for that day, I can run and change and be cool, or I need to work out, I got something to wear. Um, and I also keep a pair of leggings because uh, these are kind of thinner for the summer months have a little cute little design on the end. I try to color coordinate so I can make an outfit. If not, this is for like the nights I go to a bonfire and my legs are cold. It was like blazing hot in the daytime, but now it's nighttime and I'm cold. Or if I want to work out on a rainy, cooler day, I have some leggings to wear. I also keep a old bathing suit, so I always have something to swim in, like I said. Say you get out of work and it's just one of them sticky hot days and your friend has a pool and you just want to go there. I always have a bathing suit right ready to go. It's usually one I don't really care much about um, and a towel. 
Also, the towel doubles, like say you're staying the night at a boyfriend's house and you want to take a shower. And men aren't always good with washing their towels. When I was dating and not living with someone, I always kept two towels. One for my body, one for my hair. And then obviously I could use one for swimming as well. Or my dog, whatever. <laughs> so a t-shirt and a tank top, I always have those options as well because sometimes I just want a tank top. Sometimes I want a t-shirt have both options you can't go wrong with them also say you're going to the beach now you're you're going back to someone's house i always keep a pair of slipper socks my mom got these in uh, alaska for me they have those comfy things like when my feet get cold camping or whatnot i always want a pair of slipper socks whether i'm wearing them in someone's house and i was wearing sandals all day now my feet are cold or whatever reason you just want your feet to be comfy can't go wrong with those in your car then i keep regular socks like i said maybe i wore heels to work and now i'm going to the gym and i brought my shoes but i forgot my socks always have socks on there can't go wrong all right, so what about those days? Oh, sorry. I always keep a just a basic regular sports bra as well because when you're working and you're wearing a regular bra and you're going to the gym, it's not always the right bra to be working out and you're like fidgeting the whole time. So with my workout stuff, I always keep a sports bra in my car because I have done that more than one time. <laughs> like I'm like... I brought my gym stuff, but I didn't bring my sports bra. Now I got to work out in this fucking t-shirt bra and my boobies are going to be all over the place, you know. So, um, also for the same reason, sometimes I wear my bathing suit under something and I get there and I'm like, duh, dum dum. now it's cold and I want to change and I forgot my bra and underwear. So, I always have a random bra, like, that can go with anything. And then you can buy these underwear in, like, a six-pack. Nothing fancy. They're just Hanes. Um... I always used to keep the package in there, so, like, they're obviously underwear I haven't worn yet, so if I need a pair, my friend also forgot clothes, they could have a clean pair of never-worn underwear. They're only, like, four bucks. Um, just keep just keep that in there. Also, I usually, you can get these in a three-pack as well. They're lady boxers. <laughs> they're not guy ones. Um, you can... You can wear these over your bathing suit. You can swim in these. Or you can wear them to bed. Maybe you forgot your pajamas while you were packing. Having this in your car. Or your rent. maybe you drank too much and now you're planning to spend the night. Or something happens and you're spending the night. You can wear that and your tank top to bed. So you also have PJs in there. Um, Alright, so maybe you're on the go this summer. You have a lot of events back to back. Or things just pop up and you want to be prepared. I always keep a sundress. Just a basic regular t-shirt dress that has a nice design. So you can wear this to a nice event or a casual event and it will be um, acceptable. Um, you can wear this over your bathing suit because they require you to have shoes and a shirt to go in store. So just throw, have this in your trunk with a pair of sandals. I always keep a pair of flats. A pair of flip flops and a pair of like deck shoes and a pair of sneakers in my trunk because I'm very active during the summer so if I want to run I want a pair of sneakers if these heels are killing me I'm gonna want a pair of flats maybe I'm going from wearing my bathing suit now I'm putting a skirt on and I need a dressy sandal and I I have an option in my trunk I always have at least four options of feet wear hiking boots if you're more active have those in your trunk on the go um again just a t-shirt dress because you know maybe you like I said you're you're dressed for the beach now you're going to the store you're going to some event or you're at work and you don't want to wear your pants business suit it's summer out and you're going to eat somewhere with your family just a random picnic you can throw that t-shirt dress on and not sweat your ass off now I always have a shaper in my trunk as well these are for the nights where you're wearing something a little bit too skimpy and you want to dance but if you dance your booty might come out so I run out to my car I grab my shaper I run in the bathroom I pull this up and I can booty shake and ain't nobody gonna see shit I did this a lot when I was younger usually they were just the Spanx ones but now that I'm older and I have more of a gut this one goes like right to your booby <laughs> and it's just underneath it always have a shaper um, especially if you're like having someone that's getting married this summer and you're doing a lot of fittings and you're going to wear a shaper that day, you want it fitted to how your shaper is going to look. Just saying. 
keep a shaper in there. Never goes wrong. If you have kids, um, do everything you did for yourself for your kids. Like have beach wear, a change of clothes. Because say you did pack in the diaper bag and they're just having a, a runny poop day and they poop through their stuff and you have extras in your trunk. <laughs> I also keep a pillow and a blanket if I'm camping a lot and a bedroll always in my trunk. So if I do need to sleep at a friend's house, if I'm drinking too much, I can take that bedroll out, my sleeping bag and a pillow. I can sleep in my car if I need to. Always keep that in your trunk. Also in your duffel, I always have hair clips. This is a dollar at Dollar General or Dollar Tree. Look at how many you get for a dollar. Keep your hair in place. Um, put your hair up on a hot day. I also have a headband when I want to work out and keep my hair out of my face. A couple hair ties, obviously bigger ones. I'm just showing you. I always have a hat on crazy hair days or if I want the sun on my face and a spare pair of sunglasses in that duffel as well. Also within that duffel, just stay prepared this summer. Um, I call this deodorant for your lady bits. <laughs> spray this on your bathing suit. Spray this on your underwear. So even on those hot, spready, spready, <laughs> sweaty days, your lady bits still smell good. I It says on the bottle you can spray it directly on yourself. <laughs> but I wouldn't. I would never spray anything directly on your body because it's going to mess with your pH and it could give you an infection, lady. So just spray it on your underwear or spray it on your bathing suit. We sweat. We're ladies. Let's not, we don't need to hide the fact that we have to do things to take good care. Like I'm a little bit Gwyneth Paltrow. I'm all about making sure my badge is good. And you should too. <laughs> and all around it. Not that you don't. I'm just being funny. Um, I always have a shaver head. And you know, the kind of shaver I use is the Gillette Venus. This works best for me. You can get sensitive skin as well. At, when you buy a set, it comes with the stick. And these are just the refill heads. And you, you take the old one off and you pop it on. But I always have a spare head as well. It's summertime. We need to have shaven legs. So say you're somewhere and you saw a spot you missed. You can run to your trunk and get it. Or if you're traveling this summer and you're on the go. And you want to shave in your <laughs> hotel room. You're not going to forget. So have a shaver and a shaver head in your duffel bag. This for your lady bits in whatever situation this is 99 cents at the dollar store it works really good my this is my favorite one tropical paradise it says invisibly solid but it will stain your clothes so be very careful i'm just saying sweat wise this works really good it's a dollar always have it in there for those days you forget to put your deodorant on or it's just super fucking hot and you want to smell good for those trips that you can't take a shower because i used to camp and there was just like, obviously, if there's a river or whatever, you can wash yourself, but sometimes there's not. And you, I use this even when I'm home. I take a shower. I get out of the shower. I brush my hair. I spray this in my hair. My fucking hair. You can smell this in your hair for days. Um, so definitely have this in your car. When you can't take a shower, you're going to smell. You're going to have that good smelling girl hair. <laughs> we wear our hair down or in ponies a lot. And, you know, when you walk by someone and you wave your hair, they're going to smell your pretty hair. I'm telling you. All right. So, obviously, you want a toothbrush. But with COVID going on, you're going to want to get these holders. You can get this for 99 cents at the Dollar Tree. It comes with two. Um, this goes, you put your toothbrush in it and close it right over. It protects your toothbrush from germs. So, I would have one of these in my suitcase with the toothbrush in it. And this toothpaste is 99 cents. You can get it at Dollar General, Dollar Tree, and Walmart. I find that this is better than Colgate. And it's 99 cents. This is the kind I use. Um, I have no complaints. And it's cheap and it works for the whole family. Um, they have a couple different flavors as well. But this is my, the Cool Mint is my favorite. So I always have extra toothpaste wherever you go. I usually put... When I was younger, I always had two toothbrushes because I always had a friend with me. Or if you have kids, make sure they have brushes too. Because um, you never know when you're camping, you might forget that. And it's important to brush your teeth when you have kids. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about things that are in your car. Wait, did I do everything in my... Oh, no, I didn't. All right. So I have like in that duffel, I usually put a Ziploc baggie like this in it with all my extras. 
So this is my extra bag inside the duffel bag for when I'm traveling on the go. These are things that I need. Makeup remover wipes. I have very sensitive skin, so I like this. Um, they're from Studio Selection. You can get them at Dollar General. It comes with two packages for five bucks, or you can buy a single one for three dollars. They work really good. It wipes the makeup off. It makes your face feel good. It's not name brand, and I feel like it works better than name brand because I used to work, buy the Neutrogena ones, and my face would break out. This is for sensitive skin. It's a knockoff generic brand, again, from Dollar General, and it works amazing. And you can get two packages of 25 for five bucks. They last me a long time. I like it. Um, or you don't have to get sensitive skin ones. They also have regular for two for five in the same deal. All right, so I always want a liquid eyeliner, a mascara. Let me get all my... Let me just dump it out. <laughs> Let me just dump it real quick, guys. So get it all out for you. My Virgo in here is like freaking out. You're making a mess. <laughs> That's all right. I like to make a mess in creative ventures. All right. So I always have a spare bottle of um, liquid foundation. Um, you sweat it off or you swim it off. I always have a bronzer because I'm pal as fuck and when you wanna look good and you need to do your makeup on the go, this is for overnights when you weren't prepared or you wake up drunk as fuck and <laughs> you look like shit, run to your trunk, get this out. Or if you're, if you're partying somewhere and swimming and you need to go to work and get ready for work while you're there, bronzer, liquid foundation, and concealer for under eye when you don't get that sleep that you need because you're partying, you need that in the summer. This is a compact mirror, but you can um, just have like a powder one as well. I keep a, this isn't my choice of eyeshadow, but the choice I would usually, I set this up just to show you because I don't do this anymore. I'm, <laughs> I'm home a lot more, so I don't have the stuff on my trunk anymore as much as I used to. I think I have a couple things still in there, but. I'm a homebody now, so I don't feel the need to do this. I'm just telling you, if you're on the go, you need this. An eyeshadow of your choice that you like, or a shades that will go with anything you wear. You're going to want a nice lipstick to spruce it up when you're, you're on the go. I always keep a pair of tweezers to make sure my eyebrows are good when I'm on the traveling. You know, you notice that in the mirror sometimes. So like I said, liquid eyeliner, regular eyeliner, mascara, eyelash curler. You're going to need that on the go, especially if you forgot it. Blush brush and a, con a contour kit. <laughs> and nail clippers in case your nail breaks. Hair ties, another hairband option. So it's just like basically a make yourself look good on the go bag <laughs> that you can just grab out and take with you. Maybe you went swimming and you fucked up your makeup and you're you're trying to get someone's attention or you're on a date and you're swimming or whatever situation. This is the make me look good in a pinch. So just keep that on top of your duffel. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to what you should have in your car caddy um, or in your console. Always a box of tissues, especially if you have kids. Hand sanitizer as well. Um, I keep this in my car because I don't smoke anymore and I'm trying to make my car smell good so if somebody smokes in my car um, I can spray this and it smells new again or if you're just like you know your car gets musty especially if you're traveling in it for a long time. You can actually spray your clothes when you're traveling. Say you need to you wore a blouse one day but you have a business meeting again and you didn't pack another blouse you could spray your blouse with this and it smells like you washed it <laughs> in a pinch when you're traveling so definitely have this in your car it also works <laughs> say you forgot your cologne or perfume and you want to smell good for a second in a, in a dire situation you can just be like Ch -ch, and you're gonna smell like oh you just did laundry <laughs> it's better than smelling like sweat <laughs> all right so there is a smaller version that I keep in my car, but I want to talk about saving some money. Listen, I used to be a cleaning lady, and Clorox wipes are very expensive. I have tried every knockoff 
Clorox wipe on the market, Dollar General works just as good. Yes, the Clorox wipe has a thicker cloth and a better feel, but this works exactly the same. It's going to clean well. Um, I use these in my own home. Again, Dollar General, $2 cheaper than Clorox wipes. Um, in general sense even with the the variety pack you're saving like three dollars more um three dollars you're saving yourself three dollars than buying name brand when something that works exactly the same you can get lemon scent or lavender i buy both they're both great they work well save yourself some money keep these in your car especially with coronavirus when you go into a hotel you can wipe down your surfaces um or if you go to a public place and you and your kids are eating even wipe down the restaurant table if you want if, if you're that scared of things you can keep that in your car i keep them when i was traveling a lot like hotel rooms wiping stuff down i always keep a lint roller in my car especially now that i'm trying to get a new job and there might be an interview i have a pet so you're wearing something you're like oh god my dog jumped on me you know clean yourself up a little bit I actually grabbed the wrong things. These are my dog's anti-itch wipes, but they look exactly like my antibacterial wipes that I buy at the dollar store. Comes in the same tube. Um, open it up, pull one out. I keep these in my console. If you get sticky fingers or if you need to clean up a mess, one dollar for a tub. Put it right in your console in your car, especially if you have kids. For the same reason, I always keep baby wipes in my car. Um, Say you need to freshen up and you don't have time to go home and take a shower. You can wash your pits. You can wash your face. You can wash in between your boobies or under your boobies. <laughs> Whatever you need to do. Your kids make a mess. Don't have toilet paper. Whatever situation, you always want to have baby wipes in your car. Especially with the kids. Alright, so those are... I think that's it for just the... I need some room, people put you down there baby wipes that's it for the trunk let's go to the glove box i'm sorry that's it for the car caddy and the trunk all right in my glove box super organized usually looks like this throw it right in my glove box but not all glove boxes you can fit like that so cut down what you may want and then what you might not what works for you I always keep travel, listen, in my area, mosquitoes are bad. So I always have a travel size mosquito spray and I always have a travel size waterproof sunscreen because hello, it's summer and these are things you absolutely need. Keep them on easy access in your glove box. I always keep a pretty body spray for the day I forget my perfume. I like to smell good. I always keep a fancy mask and for like a formal event in there, but then I also keep the regular disposable ones um, in case I forgot my mask. I keep a healthy popcorn because I'm a snacker, especially when I drink, and if I don't want to eat something that's super fattening, this is a si single mini bag, or the day I forgot my lunch, or I'm somewhere and I need food, even though I have food in my trunk, I like to keep a couple food things. You never know what can happen. It's always good to have food on hand. I keep poop bags for my dog because I do a lot of hiking and sometimes I don't always bring enough or I forget it and these are right in my car. I can run and get it. If you have a pet, I suggest that you get one. I also have a bad knee from all my years of soccer. This is medical wrap tape. Um, 99 cents at the Dollar Tree. So I keep these in my car in case one of them days I'm out hiking and my knee acts up. I can go to my car, wrap my knee up, and go about what I need to do. Or if I'm playing a sports event, I have that on hand. That's just my own personal thing, but I find the more older I get, the more people wear them too. <laughs> I always keep safety pins in case like my button breaks or my clothes break and that's embarrassing and I need to repair it. <laughs> or make something smaller or what have you. I always keep band-aids and antibacterial cream because I'm around kids a lot and I'm also accident prone. That's really good to have in the summer. Um, this is a sunglasses case but it's it's representing something else. Um, since I just made this mock to show you because um, I already have one in my real glove box and if I take it out I'm going to forget to put it back in. But anyway this would be something mini that I could put like pads and a tampon in. Um, in case, you know, I'm somewhere and I get 
my friend. I'm like, oh shit, I don't have anything. Yes, I do. I have it in my trunk. Or someone I know is in a situation where they need one. I have some in my car. Um, if you're traveling a lot more, you can keep a whole package of whatever you use in your trunk. <laughs> I used to do that when I was in college. So that is for your glove box. Also, for me personally, I keep, you can buy these for $1 at Dollar General or Dollar Tree. I keep a written version of my weekly schedule right in my glove box. So if I'm somewhere and they're like, hey, can you help me on this day? Or, hey, do you want to go do this on such and such day? And, you know, I don't have service right now or I forgot my phone or for some reason I can't get on the internet. I can just look up and be like, oh yeah, and such and such. Like, look how much I write in there. <laughs> my whole life is on these one dollar to save your fucking life in a pinch and never be late like whatever information you need to keep yourself organized with bill paying and you're on the go if i used to sit at lunch and try to figure out my budget and i'm like okay i can go to my calendar be like this such and such day this bill is due and i can figure myself myself out and stay organized right on my lunch break because i have all my shit in my car if you have kids <laughs> you know you're definitely going to need to organize your sports events medical stuff one dollar you stay organized you can't go wrong now i also since i used to go camping a lot i used to keep something to do in my glove box either for my work breaks or when things are slowing down or you're by yourself or your phone was dead or what have you um these are writing prompts ideas of things to write about in a little notebook and i would write like camping at night and everybody was asleep and I couldn't sleep because I have insomnia I could go to my glove box and have something to do or something on my work break if you have kids I suggest keeping a bag in your trunk of toys like beach toys something to occupy them at an event that you um, didn't prepare for and they're bored and they're being crazy keep some extra stuff in your trunk I also keep an extra car phone charger and a regular phone charger in my glove box because we need our phones charged <laughs> so extra chargers in your glove box is a must I feel like in today's day and age I think that concludes everything for your car so let's go to our purse <laughs> Let me grab the right one. Oh, oh, that's the one I already did. This would be what I feel is essential for you to have in your purse all summer long. No matter who you are, ladies. You're always going to want a tissue, especially if you have allergies. Um, or you're going to an event where people cry. It's always nice. I like to keep cute little ones you can get. I get them for like gifts and a stocking and on my birthday or you can get a pack of three or four of them for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Um, they do Disney ones for your kids. You can throw these in your kids book bags as well. I always keep a mini hand sanitizer in my purse. In my single days, I don't anymore, but for you young single ladies out there, don't expect the men to be prepared all the time. You're always, and if you're active this summer, be prepared. It's not embarrassing. Throw those in there. You need them. These are actually expired, and I just keep them for demo videos like this. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> ladies, like I said, you can't rely on the men, and if you want to you want to listen to your body and things happen at least you're prepared throw it in your purse it doesn't make you bad like when i was in i don't know if it's a problem anymore because i'm old but when i was in high school and stuff I'm like oh my god you have those in your fucking purse like yeah my boyfriend forgets and then i get annoyed <laughs> like, so i keep some because i'm a girl scout and i'm overly prepared i want you to be prepared for all situations so if that isn't something you need in your purse you can leave it out. I'm just saying, I want you ladies to be prepared. You can even keep a box, if you're, no shaming here, if you're very active and you have an accent, you can even buy the morning after pill without a prescription now, and you can keep that box in your purse too. <laughs> it's up to you, no judgment. I keep a powder foundation for touch-ups, but you don't have to, and a concealer under eye concealer to fix it in a pinch maybe you cried or <laughs> your makeup's running 
Um, I have allergies, so I always, I got this from, for one dollar at the Dollar Tree. It works just as good as Visine. I always have eye drops this time of year because my eyes itch like fucking crazy. I always have a lipstick and a lip gloss to make myself, because you know, this doesn't last all day. No matter what fucking brand you use, you're going to have to touch it up after lunch or what have, what have you to make your look poppin'. So, always have those, especially the color you use that day. You can switch them out. These are my favorite mints to freshen your breath after lunch or on the go where you can't brush your teeth. I always have these in my purse. I usually have mint gum, but in the summer, I like to have just classic bubble gum and blow some bubbles. I always have gum. Plus, I'm around kids a lot. Kids love this flavor. It's something to do. This is why I'm the favorite aunt. I always have candy or gum. They're like, hey, Liz, I want some mints or some gum. I'm like, all right, go in my purse. <laughs> I always have a chapstick egg as well. Um, and a pretty scented lotion that comes with a mini perfume. I have a combo of both. But in the summer, you know, we get dry skin and we're showing more skin. And if you have a dry spot and you also want to smell good, works in a pitch. <laughs> All right. So those are the only things that I would definitely have in your purse. Um, also, any medicines, obviously, that you need um, have extras in your purse. But those are my only recommendations for must-haves for summer. I hope you liked it. We're going to move right on to the second category, which is hair and nails. I'm just going to pause it, make some rum, move up the next stuff, and get this shit out of the way. So see you soon for group two. Hey, everyone. Before we get into hair and nails, I forgot a few things for my trunk box. I always carry, because I did the instant coffee, I always have styrofoam cups, a few plastic spoons, a knife and a fork, and then disposable regular drink cups in that box with the food, like I said, but the other stuff in your trunk. Also, I always, you can buy um, at Wegmans, I think they come with six of these mini ranch dressings. I love ranch. I like dipping french fries in it. I like putting it on hamburgers. I, I'm a ranch girl, so I usually throw one of these in there so I have some dip on hand because I don't like ketchup or mustard or any of that stuff. I'm a ranch girl, like I said. So I'll keep a couple in there on the go for cookouts or what, what have you for food stuff that is in the trunk box. <laughs> All right. I'll put it over here. Ran out of room again. <laughs> All right, and also for um, the duffel in the trunk, I always have bobby pins, and I always have like a mini book bag. And if I'm somewhere like on a hike, camping, and I don't want to bring a bunch of stuff, I just want to bring something that I could carry light on my bag, like my dog's water, my water, <laughs> whatever poop bags or whatever on the go. I leave this out of my duffel and just have it sitting there so I can grab it. So those are things I recommend putting in your trunk. All right, let's move on. Sorry, I forgot those in the midst of all the madness. Let's talk about nails first, and then we'll go into hair. Um, let's talk about our hands first. So, of course, you're already going to have um, nail clippers I told you to keep in your trunk. So those you'll have on hand if you watch the first part. But what I recommend for making your hands extra girly... <laughs> feeling soft and smooth from Mary Kay. It's called Satin Hands. This is the best thing on the market. I actually got this as a gift. I don't feel like it's that expensive. Um, you do have to know someone who knows Mary Kay or order it online. This is not something you can buy in a store, but I don't feel like it's going to break the bank for you. They have all different sizes and they do great um, prices over the holidays. So Hopefully you know somebody, because we're going to talk about Mary Kay again with the face stuff. Mary Kay makes the best products on the market as far as hand stuff and anti-age, which we'll get into later. So, like I said, I use this on my hands. Satin hands is amazing. You do have to use it a couple times before it really starts working good, but like I said, I like it. They have different fragrances. Um, I get a little tool like this. You can get it. I think I got this at Dollar General for a dollar fifty. So you have the hummus stone, then you have a brush, then you have I've actually used this um, to scrape your heel, and then the metal one. 
that catches all the dead skin. So you can give yourself a pedicure, pedicure. Two bucks. It has everything on there to help your feet staying girly and smooth. I actually use satin hands on my feet as well. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it makes my feet soft. Um, I tried to use this. It scares me. But I know professionals use This is like a dead skin scraper for your foot. Maybe I just don't know how to use it properly. But I definitely recommend if you're somebody who gives yourself home pedicures to buy this. It was literally a dollar. You can get it at Dollar General, Dollar Tree, Walmart. If you have like calluses on your feet and you really need to get in there, this is the tool for you. It's called a foot scraper. Okay, so let's talk about nail power no a little bit nail polish removers because I actually just did my nails. If you're camping or you're going somewhere on a road trip with the girls and you're bringing nail stuff, I highly re recommend the tubs because as you can see, you just stick your finger in and you it's like having the paper towel in it on the go. This is something that's gonna work for you if you travel. This was 99 cents. It works about like seven to ten times of removing your nails before the pink pad starts fading a little bit. But if you're traveling, I highly re recommend this kind because you don't need like paper towel or tissues or anything. Um, let's do a, a compare and contrast because normally I do my nails at home and I don't get the really expensive gel gel nail polish. So I was using um, regular acetone. This was 99 cents for this whole bottle. But I noticed that it was bothering, the scent was bothering my pet, my dog. So I saw this new one. I actually just tried it. It's called, uh, it's from Cutex Care. It's non acetone nail polish remover. Um, it removes UV gel, but it's made with natural oils, including pomegranate oil. This has a very subtle smell. It didn't bother my pets. It's not going to bother kids. Uh, I did notice it's got like a greasy feel to it, and it, it did make some the nail polish go on to my finger, but it wiped up easily. It's just different because it's new, like coming from an acetone. You know, it doesn't have that oily feeling, but I did like that it does didn't have a heavy scent. It did remove the polish, but look at how much I used to just remove 10 fingers. So I do feel like you use less of the real stuff, but this is better for the environment and it's less toxic to the <laughs> smell environment. Like this is very potent and stinky. Um, I It was bothering my pet, so I either put my dog out when I did this or I went outside. But with this, I don't have to. This pomegranate kind kind from Qtex. I think this was like a dollar, almost two dollars. It's not overly expensive. I got it to try it to help my pets not be disturbed by my scent, but I still get bothered by the regular nail polish. Um, they're getting better at that though, but this was really stinky for my dog. So I definitely recommend using this um, pomegranate oil because I do feel like it's better for your skin as well. Um, the acetone is kind of a harsh chemical, so I just tried it and I just wanted to let you know that it works really good and it's not as stinky. Um, I found this at the Dollar Tree for one dollar. It's called Super Dry. I put this over everything that I paint my nails and it, it helps keep it longer and it helps it dry faster. One dollar. Um, they also have this for strong nails, the clear strong nails that works really good in strengthening your nails. 99 cents Dollar Tree works amazing. Helps your nails dry a little bit faster. I highly recommend it. I got this on Amazon and it came with three bottles. I believe it was 10 bucks, but I ordered this last March. This is my last bottle. <laughs> I do my nails every week though. So that's amazing that it lasts as long. I still have several uses. I am gonna have to order more. Um, I paint my nails and then I spray this on. And then I put in my, this is my nail dryer. It looks like this, super lightweight. It comes with a cord and you, you plug it in here. I just didn't bring it down. I use the middle button for 60 seconds, 10 times each side. Then I spray again and I do it 10 times more. And then I spray again. I usually have to do three rounds because of the nail polish I use, not because this doesn't work. I believe this was under $20 on Amazon. It's made by Sun. It's 48W Professional Nail Equipment. 
It, it works amazing. This dries my nails a lot faster. And I kind of feel like a little professional with my and my own nail dryer like I'm at the damn salon myself. <laughs> I have not been to a nail salon since the pandemic began. I've been doing it. I, I used to do it before. Like I would only go for special events anyway, but I'm just saying. Let's talk about nail polish. I buy cheap shit, I'm not going to lie, but I'm doing a product review for these products that work really well, save money, beautiful colors, they're always coming out with new shit. It's, a, it's made by LA Colors, all these brands, but they have, these are actually the three colors on my nails right now, I don't know if you can see, I did different ones. Um, pretty Greens, this is called uh, LA Colors Gel. This is the gel. I actually, my, the reason why I started buying these because my nail dryer is for gel nail polish, which we're going that way anyway. That's why I bought that. They're, it's hard to find nail polish that is not gel these days. So this is 99 cents a bottle. They come in amazing colors. You can get pastels. They have a lot of brights out right now because of summer. All different colors. LA colors, $1. You can get them at Walmart, Dollar General. These ones are also made by LA Colors, but I get these at Dollar Tree. So they look very different, but it's the same company. LA Colors Gel. LA Colors Not Gel. So you can't get the gel kind at Dollar Tree, basically. So, uh, however, it still works amazing. I'm actually using this on my nail right now. I put it over and it gives that nice shimmer. They have gold too. They have a bunch of amazing bright colors, also 99 cents, but you can only get this LA color at the dollars, Dollar Tree. Also, at the Dollar General, it's called Believe Beauty. They come in circles. They do stain your na your nails a little bit, but I do think the color stains on a lot longer than the others. It is not gel, but I just like the sleek bottle. It's 99 cents. They come in a lot of amazing colors. Also, only at the Dollar General. These ones I like. These are called nail art pens. Do you see how it's very thin? This is how you can do French tips or you can do designs. They come in all different colors. You can only get these at Dollar General or Dollar Tree and they are 99 cents. I got it in silver, gold, and white. So I can do lines on my nails. I can do French tip and it makes it really easy. These are also made by LA Colors. They're in a square bottle. Um, it is not gel. I've only found these at um, Dollar general it does it says last up to 10 days longer i think it lasts the same amount of time as this to be honest it's just not gel but if you want to get the square bottle these ones work well and then we have broadway nails this is a new york company you can only get these at um, dollar tree or dollar general and walmart also 99 cents comes in a lot of colors and works really well so basically i'm recommending any la colors nail polish the 99 cents if you think it's going to be cheap and yucky it's not these are the only nail polish brands i buy either broadway which is a new york company or la colors i don't buy any other nail polish i don't spend more than a dollar for nail polish i think it's crazy <laughs> if you want to go buy like the designer ones are are expensive for one bottle and they last the same amount of time so I go through it so fast that I just feel like any more than a dollar you're wasting your money but most people like to go and get their nails done these are for the girls like me at home that like to do it themselves if you have kids and you don't have money to do your nails those products work really well and you can get the spray and the dryer on Amazon and save yourself what is it 30 to 60 bucks every two weeks when you get your nails done by doing it yourself so just saying. let's move on to hair so swab is obviously very common at all stores you can get this at Kmart you can get it at Target you can get it at Wegmans you can get it at Walmart Dollar General <laughs> No, just the Dollar General, not Dollar Tree. Suave works really great. Um, I use this. It smells amazing. But for summer, the Suave product you should be looking for is the Moroccan Infusion. It makes your, ha your hair um, silky smooth, smells great, has that summery smell. This is also, this is good for all hair. 
all cultures hair. Moroccan oil or that hot, high heat, humid weather, you're going to want to look for things like this for summer months. Um, I switched, um, I usually use keratin, but in the summer months I switch, switch to the Moroccan infusion. Um, I still buy the regular keratin because my boyfriend says this smells too girly. <laughs> so um, this is more of a girl, but you guys can use it too. I don't feel like it's gender specific. I'm just saying this is actually the kind you can get a two pack in a box for five bucks with the shampoo and conditioner. They're having sales because it's the summer months. All right, so that's a good shampoo for a budget. Now, I'm a little picky about my hair products, but let's talk about boys, um, or let's talk about women with kids. So, you know you have little boys at home where you're, they're not really going anywhere and they just wanna spike their hair, or they have teenagers that are just trying to do their hair and they use more products than they should. I got both of these at the Dollar Tree. A bottle of mousse for a dollar and this huge bottle of gel that I still have from daycare. Um, this is very sticky. I wouldn't recommend using this other than to spike a little boy's hair because that's going to get that hard straight up. Like I, I tried to scrunch my hair with this and it just makes it so really is only good for spiking the hair or doing boys hair this is definitely a boys gel and this is works good for teens and you know, when they're learning how to scrunch their hair one dollar dollar tree but save yourself some money kids don't care about smell or name brand shit when they're little amazing little boy sp spikes and amazing little girl curls on a budget dollar tree <laughs> all right so Let's talk about the hair dyes. I dye my hair all the time. I usually stick to Revlon. I did have a problem once, but it's only because I ordered it on Amazon and I found out it came from a different country. <laughs> so I will only buy it in the stores now. Um, Revlon, I get two boxes for five bucks. Uh, they're usually about $2.50. They come in a range array of colors <laughs> for you very cheap it lasts me about 30 days i have to do my hair every 30 days if i want to keep a color it says it's permanent but it does wash out after a month you don't have to spend a million dollars to go to a salon and get and play with colors in your hair and if you don't like it you can just keep washing it until it's out but this is the best hair dye on a budget in my opinion <laughs> all right let's talk about products I'm, a, I'm picky about what I use, and I've spent a lot of money and a lot of time selecting products um, for myself. I stick to certain ones that I'm going to show you. Um, this is the only kind of hairspray that I really like. It doesn't leave a residue. It, it makes your hair stick where it needs to go, and it has a nice smell. It's from Garnier Fructis. It's full control. It's a little bit more expensive. I think I not too expensive i don't think this is any more than four dollars it lasts me a long time um i don't use a ton of it, it if you spray it on your mirror it's gonna <laughs> leave a sticky residue um because it's strong it's a powerful hairspray it works amazing like i said it smells good and it doesn't leave that white like dandruffy crap <laughs> so this is the hairspray i recommend for all seasons to be honest but because it's summer month months i actually bought this from a salon i have to go back and get more this is not some I'm, maybe you can get it at sally's but i doubt it this is something you're gonna have to go to a salon for and it was expensive i think this was like 15 dollars but if you're somebody who suffers from frizzy hair in the summer this is um for those beach waves the curly um beautiful surfer hair it's made with a, a sort of salt water and it tames the frizz in your hair and it does have a little bit of a minty smell i don't i'm not sure why it's minty but it works amazing for frizz it's called awa pui <laughs> wild ginger a w a p u h i like i said i it's from paul mitchell that's the company that makes it it's an amazing product. The only, it works better than Bedhead, but it is $15 to $20 for just this size. So I only use it on special occasions, to be honest. But if you're looking for something, you have really stubborn, thick hair, this is going to tame it <laughs> really well. But you're going to have to spend a little money, and you're going to have to go to a salon to get it. 
You can try Sally's, Sally's Beauty Supply. For a little bit cheaper options, I love the Aussie Company. I have really thick, wavy hair. They make products that just, I feel, work best for my type of hair. But my friends who come over and use it who have straight hair or who have curly hair also love it. And I'm always going through my stuff. But I always have detangling spray in the summer because you're going from like the pool or the ocean or the beach or the, and your hair gets all knotted from swimming. This is something that you can use just to get your brush through it and put your hair up. But I always have this on hand, sorry, that was my phone, um, to get those tangles out after a shower. This works great. But you, honestly, you can go to the Dollar Tree and buy the Sesame Street little kid kind for 99 cents. That's going to work the best. But I love the smell of this. That's why I spend the money on it. I don't want to smell like little kids hair. I want to smell like ladies hair. So that's the only reason why I spend the extra money on this kind of detangler. I also like their spray gel. I no longer use, I'm sorry, yeah, spray gel. I no longer use like any kind of gel like this. It, it's always going to be a spray gel. Ozzy has spoiled me. <laughs> I love this product. It works great. I scrunch my hair with this. Um, if I'm, I'm doing curls, I use this. It smells amazing as well. And then my leave-in conditioner. This helps smell amazing. I think this works better as a detangler too, but um, I definitely like to use, like, I try, I mean, it may seem gross, but I like to wash my hair every other day because it, the natural oils in your hair, you need that. That's a, that's what makes healthy hair. So on the day that I'm not washing my hair, but I'm washing my body, I'll spray this in it because <laughs> it makes it smell good. Most women do that anyway, especially in the summer. You don't want to, like, wash your hair every single day because then it gets greasy. And it looks greasy in the sun. <laughs> Alright, so that's all I have for the hair products that I wanted to show you. Really, you can't go wrong with Aussie in the summertime. Their hair, I, they just make the best sun products, I feel like. Um, what else did I want to tell you about hair? Make sure you're rinsing your conditioner out really well because a lot of mistakes women make, they don't wash the conditioner out of their hair fully. Um, they like to leave a little in so that they're able to brush it, but then you get that greasy residue. So make sure you're completely washing out your shampoo and you're completely washing out your conditioner before you get out of the shower. Thank you very much for watching part two. We're going to be moving on to part three, which is skin and health. I just got to move this stuff around and we'll get right into it. All right, everybody, ready for section three, which is talking about skin and your health. So, what do we got for skin first? Let's start over here with skin because I feel like skin is rather small compared to the health stuff. Alright, I suffer from psoriasis and I need to be on a budget. And I found a few things that work for me for very cheap. I found this at Dollar Tree for 99 cents it comes in a box but inside the box it looks like this it's the same thing it's made by dr sheffield and i have a spot on my finger um this starts itching and peeling and gets scaly and it drives me crazy so i literally put this on this is like a spot treatment for 99 cents it works really well and i've had success with it um, obviously it doesn't get rid of psoriasis, I don't know if anything ever will, but it definitely helps soothe it and calms it down. I also found this um, at the Dollar Tree for 99 cents. It's called Eczema Relief Moisturizing Lotion. I use this full body. I've had great results with it. You do have to use it for about two weeks before you start seeing results. But they have a regular, they have a bunch of this Dermacil Labs at the Dollar Tree and every single one of their Dermacell projects or project, products works for me. For a dollar I was amazed. I don't find many things that works for my psoriasis or my eczema. Um, these dollar products amazed me more than 
high-end spectrum treatment. So literally, there's Dollar Trees all across this country, 99 cents. They have ones for psoriasis. They have ones for eczema. They have ones for severe dry skin, sunburn, soothing, smoothing, firming, every kind of lotion, D-E-R-M-A-S-I-L, Dermasil Labs. It's it, a knockoff, technically, that works amazing. Saves you on your wallet, helps your skin. In the summer, I highly recommend that everybody has coconut oil moisturizing cream. This works for pregnancy, for stretch marks, it works for eczema, it works for psoriasis, it works for those elbows and those knees to be smooth and not dry. Tough, dry, patchy skin. And coconut is the smell of the summer. <laughs> this works amazing on your skin. It also works really well in the winter. I, I just recommend having coconut oil. You can actually even use this for diaper rash cream in a pinch. <laughs> so always have that. Um, 99 cents. I also got this at Dollar Tree. Um, let's talk about your dog for a second. <laughs> I know this has nothing to do with your skin, but let's talk about your dog's skin because it is flea and tick season. I've been using this for a few years. Soresto is what vets recommend. This is about, um, it can range from $30 to $60, but it lasts a full year. Um, I've never, my dog has never had fleas, has never had ticks. She's four years old. Every, I, I have this on her by like the end of March because it's still kind of cold for us in March but whenever that first thaw happens you need to have a dog color on. Um, I ordered this from Amazon but you can buy them from Walmart. You can get them at drug stores. You can get them through your vet as well. Soresto is the best on the market. You can get it for any size dog. I do not recommend any other product as far as flea and tick collars. Put this on. You don't have to worry for a year. I Actually I've pushed these to a year and a half and my dog still didn't get fleas or ticks. I have never stood by a more, I'm not getting paid for this. This is all stuff around the home that I'm recommending. It is very expensive, but like I said, I've never had a flea problem. You can even get these for your cats. <laughs> you can get, you can put one on your bunny. They are also the most healthy for your dog. It has nothing toxic in it. Like I said, this is the number one vet recommended brand for flea collars as far as health to your dog, what they put in it, and how well it works. Um, I was actually. This wasn't even the store yet. My vet recommended. I've been using it so long. I think it's been in the market for anyone to grab for at least three years. But the first year of my dog's life, I could only get this through the vet. And now it's everywhere. So it's taking off. I'm sure you've heard of it. You've seen the commercials. It really does work. You do not have to worry about your dog. Also, even though my baby's four, I've had um, any dog that has a lab in it or German Shepherd, or is a big dog in general, you want to be proactive with their hip and joints because every dog that I've had, when they get older, you know, their hips start going and they, they have a hard time walking or they have trouble with their paws. I really like this. They, these are, first of all, they take years to expire. <laughs> um, they I don't give this to her every week. I give these to her about twice a month. Uh, I spread it out. I don't feel like, I feel like it's kind of poison to give these to them every day. <laughs> um, just because she's four years old, when she's older, um, when she starts to get like six or eight years old, then I'll be giving them to her every day because these are kind of expensive. But as far as products, these work really good. They have a senior kind that I, once my other dogs, um, Daisy's the first dog I've ever owned as my own dog, but I've taken care of many dogs. Um, I will switch to the senior brand when it's time, but this product works amazing, and it's really good to be proactive. Like I said, I give her three in the beginning of the month and three at the end, and if she's really struggling and we're walking a lot, I'll give her three in the middle. I do notice that it does constipate her a little bit, <laughs> um, but maybe it's because I don't give it to her all the time. So if you're noticing, because it depends on the weight. It has it all written on the back. So if you're noticing your dog's constipated after taking these, 
take it back one. It just means they can't have the full three. Try two, and if they're still constipated, try one. But as far as how well this works on your dog's hips and joints, this is what I recommend. Um, Vet IQ, veterinary recommended hip and joint vitamins. Sports car uh, supports cartilage, lubricates their joints, and man maintains their muscle. And it's got a real. My dog loves these. She must love the flavor because it's not like, okay, take medicine. <laughs> like she thinks it's a treat. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about weight loss stuff to help manage a little bit. Um, like I said, I did this product review. This is very popular on the market. It does taste amazing. They're gummies. I'll show you the product if you haven't seen the other one. This is about $25 to $30 depending on where you get it from. I ordered this on Amazon. Uh, it smells a, a little crazy, but they taste amazing. They're gummies. But honestly, you can go to the Dollar Tree and this comes with 200 tablets. It's apple cider vinegar. Oh, I'm sorry. No, Dollar General I got this. I think it was... Of this one I got from Dollar General. This is Dollar General. I think this was $3. It has 200 tablets. The taste is not good. <laughs> um, obviously because they're, they're pills. But if you swallow it fast enough, you can't taste it. They're not big horse pills. They're little round pills. Follow the directions to your weight on the back. Or the directions on how many to take. It works identical to the gummies. Say it. This is like $4 at the most. This is $25 to $30. <laughs> Works the same. I've had the same results. So I just want you to know, you can go to Dollar General, get those regular apple cider vinegar supplements. They're going to literally do the same thing. It's just this has a better flavor and it's gummy. But you can also get generic apple cider vinegar gummies. You don't have to get goalie. But gummy, I recommend this for gummy because it has the best flavor. But honestly, I'm not, I'm a little bit cheap, so I'm not willing to continue to spend $30. I'm going to stick with these that work exactly the same, and I just take them with my breakfast over chewing these. All right. So I also found these at Dollar Tree for one dollar. They're called one dollar. They're called weight control. Um, I would not take this with any blood thinner, or if you take anxiety medicine or anything that's going to make you jittery. Um, it, I do feel like it has caffeine in it. Um, so try it. Just start with one, and if you're too jittery, don't don't take any more. It has nothing dangerous. It's all a dietary supplement. It has apple cider vinegar in it as well. So if you just want to do this and not the apple cider, you can. Um, this is helping me maintain. I've only tried it for a week, but so far I've lost four pounds. So I do feel like it's picked up from other weeks. I do feel this works. It only has 30 tablets in it, so you might have to go back. Um, I should have bought two, but it's only a dollar for each. So can't go wrong, right? <laughs> All right, so let's talk about some medicines in your cabinet. This is allergy season. I have allergies horribly. So what products do I use? What do I recommend? First of all, Nutty Pot. I didn't bring it down here because I don't want to take it out of the bathroom. I use it a lot. Nutty Pots are the thing that you put up your nose and then it shoots everything out of your nose. It works great for preventing sinus infections. Nothing can beat that. Also, I strongly suggest a humidifier, a Vicks Vapor one that gives out that menthol mist while you sleep this time of year and in the winter when it's dry. But as far as medicine, uh, I think it's this one too. I've been using this for a couple years, but this to me, Xantex is always going to work the best. It's more expensive, but this is more a cheaper version. And I think it works successful for those tough headache days when you're all stuffed up um, and you don't have the money for Claritin or anything like that. Tylenol, sinus, and headache definitely works for me. At night, breathe right strips. This also helps if you have a snorer in your house and they snore. Um, I use these for camping because my sinuses, I don't want to snore. 
and I know that I will if I sleep outside because it, it just the grass and everything makes my nose stuff up. But if you're just a natural snorer in general <laughs> and you don't want to be anymore, you can actually use these every night before you go to bed. They are a little bit pricey to be using every night, um, but this definitely helps you breathe. So you can. Um, it says, breathe better, sleep better. I think it works, especially for sinuses and when I'm sleeping outside. Now listen, I'm allergic to bees. And this summer, I didn't have one last summer. And I definitely don't have one this summer because I lost my health insurance. And an EpiPen is crazy. The amount of money they charge for it, it's over. I think now it's up to like 400 and something dollars. And it's only good for one summer. <laughs> and that's with no insurance. And it's only going up every year. So when I'm it, I throw this in my purse. This is actually expired. I have to, <laughs> I got it out of my <laughs> cabinet to show you. And I was like, oh shit, I need to buy a new bottle. But I keep this in my purse in the summer. Because if I get stung by a bee, I will fucking chuck most of this bottle. And it will keep me alive until the ambulance gets there. You can't wait for the pill to dissolve. So you definitely want to get the children's liquid Benadryl. If you are riding dirty this summer like me and you don't have an epic an EpiPen and you get stung by a bee, this is going to save your life. My mom was a nurse for years. She taught me this trick. She said, get the children's Benadryl and drink it. <laughs> when you get stung by a bee, when, obviously we got to call 911 because they need us to come and stick us. They have the EpiPens that we can't afford and we're just going to get. It's a mess. God, let's hope I don't get stung by a bee this summer. But if I do, this is in my purse to save my life but this also works um, for children with uh, allergies and you can get the adult liquid um, I sometimes take this at night to help me sleep but don't do it too much or it doesn't help you sleep speaking of sleep I got this for um, I think three dollars at Dollar General simple melatonin this is gonna help you go to sleep give it about 30 minutes to an hour before you want to go to sleep it definitely works it's not a narcotic. It's made with vitamins. Very cheap. You don't have to get a name brand. This simple, made by Rexall. R-E-X-A-L-L. -L. It's a simple over-the-counter sleep aid and it works great. Unfortunately, I have insomnia, so any more than three days at a time, my body is like, nope, I know that trick. <laughs> so I have to spread it out a little. But if your kids have allergies, it doesn't just work for bee stings. It can work for your kids as well. I always have Benadryl at home. Just because I have food allergies, I have all kinds of skin irritations from things. Benadryl saves my life. I always have liquid and I have capsule, to be honest. Let's talk about heartburn, people, because I get heartburn all the time. This is made by Equate. It's a generic um, form of medicine. You can get it at Walmart. It ranges from 3 to $5. It's called Ran Ran Ranidine. Ranidine? <laughs> R-A-N-I-T-I-D-I-N-E. It's 150 milligrams and it's an acid reducer. This works better than any kind of Tums, any antacid I have ever taken. It's a knockoff version. Like I said, ranges three to five dollars. It comes with 24 tablets. It lasts me a while. Um, ran, ran it. Dine, Ranidine, <laughs> R-A-N-I-T-I-D-I-N-E, if you're taking notes. You have acid reflux, buy this, I'm telling you. Don't need name brand, this works better than name brand, I've tried both. Let's talk about pain medicine. My favorites are Aleve Back and Muscle Pain. It's a little bit hard to find. I usually find it at Walmart. This is a, ranges from five to seven dollars. It's a little bit more pricey, but you can get a Quate pain reducer um, with the ibuprofen or the other kind as well. They work just as well as this. Um, I just like to have this Aleve kind because it also helps. Um, How do I explain it? Sometimes I take this with my acid reflex and I also take this because I get pain in my chest from my acid reflex. So this will take chest pain away. Um, when I when I hurt my ribs, when I broke a rib, I took this as well. Aleve works really well. Um, 
especially taking down swelling. But you, like I said, the Equate Pain Reducer does the same thing, and it's 2 to $3 cheaper. This is um, just, I'm recommending both. Name brand, that works great, and knockoff. And then Excedrin Extra Strength. This works for everything. Um, body pain, headache. Um, I never had a problem with this, but... Excedrin does make a couple different kinds if you want to narrow it down like sinus headache, back and body, cramps, and they have all different kinds. I've never had a problem with Excedrin. It's about the same price as Aleve, but like I said, you can use the Equate pain reducer. They work just as great as that stuff. Let's talk about period pain because we're, we're girls here. I have both my doll and both uh, and pampering because I was literally doing a test. I've run this test over the last four months and let me tell you something. <laughs> pampering does take the bloating away. It's really great for bloating but it gives you poop problems. <laughs> I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. It, the reason why it gets rid of that bloat so well is because you're pooping it out. So if you don't want to poop, I definitely wouldn't take Pampers. <laughs> um, but if you want that bloat to go down fast and quickly take it in the morning, by mid-morning, you're going to poop that. I mean, it's not like you poop a bunch of times. It's just like once, but there's definitely a difference there. And I've been marking it and, like, I'm not ashamed. I'm, I'm a scientist, so... I want to help you as women. I don't want you to take this and then go to work and get yourself in a situation that's not good. But it doesn't happen for everyone because some of my friends swear by pampering over Midal. But let me tell you why I think Midal is the better. It had all the effects that pampering had without the poop dribble. And I feel like it did help with my, I get like serious sweet cravings on my period and I feel like it does help your cravings as well especially if you're on a diet strangely enough I am a my dog girl over a pampering but honestly they both work and I don't feel like the poop problem happens every time it just feels like the first couple days I only need to take pain medicine maybe the first day or the day before um, I don't usually have cramps all the way through sometimes I have cramps before I even get it and then sometimes I have cramps the first two days but usually after the second day I'm good but I know that some girls struggle all the way through I would pick my doll but either one works I'm not sure which one's cheaper I should have marked the prices but they do work both of them will work. Just don't get in trouble with the poop problem. <laughs> we men, I feel like men, men made pampering and women made my doll. But I could be wrong. That's how I feel. <laughs> All right. Let's talk. Oh, I forgot with the cold max. This is the best kind of cough syrup. I, for nighttime. Obviously, I never anymore take cough syrup before I go to work because I feel like they're all drowsy. Even if it says non-drowsy, I still feel that lag. So I only take, especially if I have a sinus infection or if I have a cold, I only take it at night. And this will knock you on your ass and you will feel so much better in the morning. It's made by Tylenol. Tylenol, I feel, is the best for sinus medicine. I've been fighting with my sinuses for years, and Tylenol is usually who I crawl back to. <laughs> but um, Vicks Vapor Rub, you can also add that if you have a lot of sinus allergies this year. All right, let's talk about our down there health, ladies, because it is summer, you do have to take better and different care down there. Like I said, I'm a little bit Gwyneth Paltrow. I'm all about making sure your JJ is fresh, smelling good, and healthy, and I'm not afraid to talk about things that we all have to deal with. So, first of all, I'm not a big recommendation of douching. I only do it like when my period ends and that's the only time because I don't feel like you should be doing this more than once a month. I do feel like it's good to do after um, you menstruate because all, your wall's clearing, right? And you're getting rid of all that gunk and you just want to make sure all the yucky stuff is out and it just helps flush it out a little bit. 
Um, so I do support it after a period, but I don't think you should do it more than once. And I don't, if you're prone to UTIs and infections, I have to be very careful because I have a bad kidney. So I, I won't touch it more than once a month, but you can do it once a week if you really want. I don't suggest it because I do feel like it messes with your pH and messes with the lining of your vagina. I think. I've read a bunch of reports on it over the years. Um, douches have been out for several years now, so we know the effects. You definitely should never douche when you're pregnant and never douche if you're trying to get pregnant. And if you ever at any time have sensitivities to like fragrances or laundry soaps, I would definitely stick with a non-scented one. Um, I like the scented one because I like to be fresh to death. But this is the kind that I use at, like I said, I only do it when I'm done bleeding because I just want all that junk out. <laughs> Poor girls, let's talk. Let's be real. It's okay. Summer's Eve is the best I recommend. This is my favorite. Um, I don't know if you saw my spray. This is the same. Island Splash is my favorite scent of theirs. It's very strong, but it does the job and you, <laughs> you will smell fresh that entire day. The only thing I don't like about douching, and I don't know if you've noticed it, like, obviously you do it in the shower, but I feel like I have to pee out some stuff. Like, you get out of the shower and you're doing stuff and you have to pee. And I feel like you pee and then you can smell this very strongly. So, although it's supposed to run out in the shower, I do feel like you're going to have to pee some of it out. <laughs> so, don't freak out if you go pee after your shower and then all of a sudden you smell this again. I do feel like you some of it sticks up there and it doesn't go out in the shower. So I would recommend making yourself pee because you don't want anything to sit up there and give you an infection. And I did notice that it comes out in your pee. Only the first pee though after you do it. It's not like continuously doing it all day. Just basically telling you just like it's important to pee after sex so you don't get an infection. Pee after you douche as well. <laughs> they have different... Um, Sizes, you can get a box with four in it. This is a box with two. I think it was $2.50. This is the cheapest one on the market. Um, I'm prone to infections because of my kidney. But I don't have many, I don't get infections from this kind. But if I use other kinds, I do. So if you are sensitive, like I said, I would stick with Summer's Eve. They are a business that has been around for a long time, working specifically with vaginas. <laughs> so I trust them. Let's talk about protecting yourself from infections because um, you're working out and you're getting sweaty and you're just more sw sweaty in general. Sweating down there can cause yeast infections, especially if you're sitting around in like moist underwear when you work out or sitting around in your bathing suit that's moist or you're swimming in water, um, hot tubs, swimming pools, lakes, oceans, all that water festering around your vagina or going up your vagina can give you a yeast infection or a U UTI specifically from being in any type of water as women we are not like men. It goes up differently and it goes all the way up in us when we swim whether we recognize it especially if you pee while you're swimming. <laughs> what's coming out of your track is also coming back up. You can get a UTI and a yeast infection from chlorine pools as well because that's chlorine going up in your vagina and that's not supposed to be in there. Hot tubs are the biggest one because it's hot water and hot brings out the yeast. So you can get more yeast infections than UTIs from hot tub water. Swimming in fresh water and salt water, you can get any kind of infection. So I suggest in the summer, if you're a swimmer, you get this AZO. This is urinary tract defense. It's going to protect you from any antibacterial or antifungal infections. So it's going to help protect you from yeast infections, UTIs, BV, which is bacterial vaginosis, which is actually, um, they did a study last year. I get this when I'm pregnant, the bacterial vaginosis. Um, I think it has something to do with my hormones changing, but it's basically an antifungal infection in your vagina. And 
Uh, BV is the most common infection in women and it's the most embarrassing of women to admit because when you have BV, the only time you notice is either usually during sex, there's like a fishy odor um, and sometimes women only notice this like either the first time they have sex after they have a baby or they're pregnant and they're having sex or they um, m mistake a UTI for BV because UTI symptoms and BV symptoms are pretty much the same. So the doctor might treat you for a UTI, but that scent doesn't go away because they're not treating you for, for BV. So then you have to go back and get a different medicine. So sometimes that fishy odor happens within your sexual partners and it's not because you have an STD and it's not because you're dirty. It's um an actual that's really the only way you know you can have it other than cramps um, you can get discharge uh, either it's clear and goopy or it's cloudy and white um, some girls actually feel like they have chlamydia and they rush to the doctors and they're like oh my god I have chlamydia but they're like no you just have BV which is a natural infection it doesn't mean you're dirty it doesn't mean you have an STD bacterial vaginosis is a bacteria in your vagina that causes um, discharge gunk yeast buildup and fishy odor so if you get any of that you definitely need to go to the doctors you cannot they know they have over-the-counter bv meds that you can take on top of your antibiotics to make sure it doesn't come back but without that antibiotic you are not going to get rid of the bv you can do things like douching you could um, put capsules up there to get rid of the odor but it's going to keep coming back like you might have sex three times and then that fishy odor is back because you didn't go back and get, or you didn't go to the doctor and get the actual medicine. You cannot cure BV on your own. You need help from your doctor. And, and like I said, we can't see up there. We can't see when something's wrong. We, as women, we have to rely on scent and what comes out. And it's very embarrassing to admit. Um, like I said, I get BV every time I get pregnant. <laughs> because my hormones change and it creates that bacteria. I get UTIs um, from holding my pee too long because my kidney tube is too short for my body. So that like infections for me, I know a lot about it. I know how to spot it before it even happens. I get cramps and I know what a period cramp is and I know what, oh my God, I have a UTI. <laughs> or, you know, I, I'm very candid with my... OBGYN, I've learned over the years because I have bad kidneys and your urinary tract and your kidney tract, it's all entwined. So as a woman, I have these conversations frequently with other women like me, but I find that most women won't talk about BV or vaginal health. So I want to help you protect from even having these problems. This is, um, it ranges from two to seven dollars. I think I got this for four, but this is a little bit stronger because it helps control the infection and it's a general pain reliever um, if you are having cramps. But say you did have an infection, you didn't take this ASIO. The best thing about ASIO, they have so many different products. I like this one, um, the Yeast Plus. When I have a yeast infection, I take this one. They have AZO uh, UTI medicines for pain. Um, I can treat my own U UTI and my own yeast infection by myself through AZO. I trust their products. They work. They're not going to cost a bloody fortune. You can get them at most pharmacies and Walmart. The only thing you cannot cure yourself with this with this brand is BV. But that's only because you need an antibiotic that they don't sell over the counter. It's a very specific one that's specifically made for BV. Now, before you get all embarrassed <laughs> and not want to talk about it, most women get BV up to at least once, one to three times in their life, especially if they have multiple pregnancies. So don't feel embarrassed about talking about it. If you, you should be able to go to your friends or your sisters or your mom and be like, 
I have something coming out or it smells funny and we should be able to have that conversation without being embarrassed. A lot of women go untreated at home because they don't want to admit to their OBGYN or other people that they have an issue and they try, they do their research online and they look up medicines and they order shit and really you just need to speak up and I'll tell you first off that sounds like BV and you're, no matter what you buy you're wasting your money you need to go to Planned Parenthood if you don't have insurance they will help you um, if you can't pay for it at all they will help you Planned Parenthood is in most states or you can go to a free health clinic where, or an STD clinic where you go to get tested for AIDS or an STD they can also treat BV so if you do not have medical insurance you can still get it treated just FYI ladies don't suffer because if you let BV linger you can get cancer and you can become sterile so I don't want you to fuck around with BV all right enough about that <laughs> also if you're trying to get pregnant or if you want to know if you're pregnant pregnancy tests and ovulation tests are crazy expensive I have done um, I've had fertility issues for years years trying to get pregnant or trying to keep one <laughs> so go to the Dollar Tree they have pregnancy tests for one dollar now this is not an early test so if you want to know um, a few days after you tried or two weeks before your missed period yes you're gonna have to get name brand but if you wait the 30 days or you're 30 days late or and you're freaking out and you want to know if you're pregnant you can go to the Dollar Tree for 99 cents these pregnancy tests are accurate and they work the only difference is it doesn't come with the thing that you have to like you can't just pee on it so you got to bring in a disposable solo cup and it gives you a little thing to suck your pee up and you have to drop it it's a little bit more work but you're gonna save yourself so much I think this is more accurate than most of the generic ones and it's easy to use um, it's a little more complicated because of course we all just want to put the stick there and pee on it if you can afford na name grand name brand great but if you're trying to get pregnant over several months you can also get ovulation tests at the same store for a dollar and they also work so if you're testing yourself every month just buy the cheap ones because the ovulation test and the pregnancy test work dollar tree one dollar save yourself the money just saying they also sell marijuana home drug tests so if you want to test your teenager and see if they're smoking a little ganja you can go to the 99 cents dollar tree and get a pregnancy test an ovulation test and a pot home screen test or if you're trying to get clean and to get a job and you want to know if the weeds out of your system yet you can you can take that test as well Let's talk about smoking. I quit smoking this year. What products were I smoked since I was a little kid? I think I was just turned double digits. I smoked a lot and then I smoked a little and I never thought I'd be someone who could quit. I want to show medically what worked for me. I found this on Amazon. I think it was $25 to $30. I've been quit for almost a year, so I haven't used them for a while, but these patches were the cheapest ones, and I was afraid they wouldn't work, but they really did, and they have all different um, amounts and sizes, and it helps you grit it out so you can, you can quit slowly. So this nicotine patch, it's made by St. Mage, M-E-G-E, St. M-E-G-E, Amazon came right to my house in three days also I bought this quit smoking aid and, and it helps clean your lungs I also got this on Amazon I don't remember how much it was but it, I don't think it was any more than $30 or I wouldn't have bought it but this really helped me with my cravings and it helped me stick with it so between the two of these I used for two weeks and then I didn't need them at all and I was a heavy smoker for a very long time. Most of it is willpower, I'm not going to lie, but these two together. Um, my friend also used the Nicorette gum, I didn't because I got jittery because I kept forgetting and chewing it like regular gum. So if you need something in your mouth, you definitely can get the gum. They also have those um, 
fake cigarettes. It kind of looks like a little tampon, to be honest, to help you just with the fixation. And there's no nicotine in it, but it does have um, craving cra curvers. So you use the fake cigarette to crave your curving as well. So definitely try Amazon. It comes right to your house. Like I said, these two products worked amazing for me if you want to quit smoking on a budget. <laughs> All right, what else do we got? Oh yeah, for vaginal health as well, cranberry is something that you wanna, drunk, you wanna pump cranberry juice, you wanna take some cranberry jummy, gummies all your life because it's gonna help in every way to keep your downstairs healthy. Um, I believe this was three to four dollars I got it at Dollar General. Their cranberry fruit extracts. This is going to help my um, urinary tract from getting infected with my bad kidney. This is going to help protect me against infections. Cranberries are amazing for women. You should always work them into your diets. <laughs> also, to lose a little weight, I recommend this green tea, bl blueberry slim life tea. It's very um, friendly for your budget um i know there's so many teas for weight loss but this is the only one i find um that works great i have to add a lemon in it though because it's a little um too blueberry for me but you don't have to add a lemon if you don't want to i drink it at night or you can drink it in the morning i find i like it better at night but that's just me so if you're looking for a weight loss tea you can find this in most grocery stores it's one of the cheapest. I don't think it was any more than $4. And it, the, the flavor is not too bad and it works. <laughs> All right, let's talk about tooth paint. I act, This is a new product that I saw that I've been trying. I have a bad molar. <laughs> um, this helps with mouth sores, ma, blah, 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 mouth sores if you have an abscess or a cut or if you're just trying to heal a tongue piercing. This even works as well um it helps with bad breath if you have bad breath issues i highly recommend it I, this was a little bit more expensive for me but it's because it's medicated mouthwash um i feel like this is the same thing the dentist prescription mouthwash gives you for more for a cheaper option so if you have any kind of mouth pain you can pair um with that or a gel pain relief with this mouthwash. That's what I usually do. I brush my teeth, I do the mouthwash, and then I, if it's really bothering me, I'll put that or gel cream on there. <laughs> but this with the cream works amazing. It's gonna help you from getting any infections in your mouth. I highly recommend it. I keep it um, for any kind of situation. I know a lot of you have chamomile lotion, uh, the pink lotion, what I call for mosquito bites, um, but we all forget which hazel is actually better for drying out and shrinking up bug bites, rashes. If you get poison ivy this summer, which hazel is going to dry it out? Um, poison ivy, poison oak, you're going to want this as well as the pink cream. I always have this on hand for bug bites. Um, this Anytime you need to dry something up, on your body, like um, a pussy blister or what have you, witch hazel is your friend. Always have witch hazel as well as iodine and peroxide as far as keeping things healthy and clean. So, and I would also have aloe. Not only do you want sunscreen in your house, but you also want to have aloe. Anytime you have a burn of any kind, aloe vera is your friend. <laughs> so I didn't bring any down, but you definitely should have that. Let's move on to skin to close it out. <laughs> All right, what's the best skin products? Let's talk about tanning lotions because I feel like everybody's using it. Now, this isn't... All the commercials, Jergens Natural Glow, it works amazing. But I found two things that work just as well as this for two to three dollars cheaper. And um, you can get both, you can get them at Dollar General or Dollar Tree. This one I found at, actually, I don't remember which one is which, but Studio Selection and Modessa. So one is Dollar Tree and one is um, Dollar General's generic brand of this. Both of them, I feel like honestly this one works better than this. <laughs> I just started using this, but this works, I feel like these two are the same. So if you want to 
to have that same natural glow over time without spending the money for name brand. This isn't too expensive. I think this was five or six dollars. You can get these for half the price and they work just as good. Dollar General and Dollar Tree. <laughs> so Studio Selection and Modessa work just as good as Jergens Natural Glow. For all you parents out there that don't have a lot of extra money to be spending on yourself, but you still want that natural glow, stick with those knockoffs. You won't regret it. Let's talk about what kind of lotion. Again, with the Suave is a cheaper option. Again, with summer, you want that Moroccan glow about you. This is really good for um, women of color as well. Um, I feel like <laughs> all of our skin are, is the same as far as like elbows and knees. This works really good on clearing that dead skin. But this is the kind of summer smell you want one and the, the treatment you want for your skin. You can pair it with the shampoo and so your body and your shampoo, your hair smells exactly the same. This is very affordable. You can get it at any store. Suave is across the board. You can get it in Target. You can get it at Walmart. You can get it at Costco. <laughs> um, Suave is everywhere. It's usually the cheapest option as well. All right, let's talk about body wash for women. Um, I like FDS. This is this is definitely only for women. This helps with your pH down there with you with you washing yourself. Soap can actually give you an infection if you're sensitive. And with my kidney, I have to be careful sometimes. So I I love this smell for summer coconut milk. I usually like this every all season, but I can really only find the coconut in the summer and I kind of stock up on it. But FDS, you can get this at Dollar General or Walmart. Um, it ranges from two to four dollars, but it's worth it than buying a uh, I have regular um, body wash suave, which is like 99 cents for my body, like my armpit, my arms, my legs. Um, and then for my, my lady bits in my butt, <laughs> I use this because it's made for that area as a lady and it helps protect you from getting infections. So I feel like it's worth the extra money. Um, it kind of is like that medicine for in prevention. This is also preventing you from getting any weird infections from swimming. All right, so since it's summer and what kind of fragrant lotion sh should you use? I always recommend Victoria's Secrets. Um, it smells amazing. Um, if you're going out and you not only do you want your legs that you just shaved to look nice and shiny, but you want to smell good. Island waters, any kind of island coconutty tropical type of lotion. That's the scent I would stick to for summer. I don't have to though. Let's talk about this amazing company. Sorry, I have to reach to get it. All right. So, like I said, I'm a very Gwyneth Paltrow, and I always am looking for things that make my woohoo smell amazing, keep me infection free. Like, I'm on top of my woohoo game down there, and I'm always, anytime a new company comes out, I've seen so many commercials over the pandemic, so I decided to try it. I ordered it on Amazon. It's called Loom. Um, this is for people, the commercial is for people who sweat over like or have a sweating problem. I personally don't. I was just testing to see scent and if it really helps and if it improves and it really does. So if you like have a sweat problem, um, this is the kind of deodorant you want to use. You can use it for your pits or you can use it for down there. You can buy it in stick form or you can get it in gel. I bought the value pack to try it in both. This makes your woohoo smell amazing all day. <laughs> I highly recommend it. Um, my friend actually, I forget what the disease called. It's called when you have the overactive sweat gland um, and she has to use medicated deodorant. I don't think she uses this for her armpits, but she definitely uses it for down there and she loves it. She orders it all the time. She's the one that actually pushed me to do it because she knows I'm a, I'm a little Gwyneth Paltrow and I want I want to look good. I want to smell good. You know, down. I'm a lady. I'm on top of my shit. I'm organized. And I just want you to know that that Loom product does work. I haven't tried any other flavor other than warm vanilla. But I'm sure they're amazing if this one smells good. 
Let's talk about our legs. Because obviously it's shave season and I have very sensitive skin and I also have a tight budget. At Dollar Tree for 99 cents you can get this called shave gel. It is clear and it kind of looks like hair gel when you put it in your hands but I'm telling you I will never use shaving cream or any other shave gel again. I do not get razor bump burns from this. It keeps me like and you know how you, when you use shaving cream, most of it washes off before you can shave like the other half of your legs? This doesn't, it sticks through the water because it's thicker. It smells good. It has aloe vera in it so it treats your skin as you shave and it's 99 fucking cents from Dollar Tree. I will never use any other product when it comes to shaving. No name brand, no nothing. This works better than any top brand on the market. And nobody ever even heard of this. I've been showing my friends. Every friend that I have had use it also said the same thing. This is amazing. I can't believe it's 99 cents. <laughs> you can only find it at Dollar Tree. So definitely get some the next time you're out. It's shave season. Let's talk about waxing. I got some products I've been trying. Um, two different uh, companies. I have Sally Hansen and then I have, what is this? Hair or Nair. I'm sorry, hair remover. So Nair, I, I remember when Nair was popular when I was younger. It was the no shave stuff and it burnt my skin so bad. So I was very scared to try their product but I actually like their waxing products better than this kind. This was more expensive. This is a little bit cheaper. They both range from four to eight dollars. This is if you want to wax your bikini area or your eyebrows. I use it for eyebrows. I don't wax my lady bits myself. I only shave but I use these for my eyebrows. I like, like I said, I like Nair better than Sally Hansen. I feel like they make theirs a little bit more complicated, but it does work. So, out of the two, either or works. As far as price, I like this one because it's cheaper <laughs> and it works better. But, this does come... The only thing that this has that this doesn't, it has the shaper stickers. So, it can help you shape your eyebrows perfectly. And it comes with all different thickness. That was pretty cool. And it does come with better tools. However, this is more effective for a cheaper price. Ladies, it's wax season. <laughs> Let's talk about how to keep that glow this summer. You want to look at Dead Sea, any kind of sea salt uh, face mask because sea salt is great for your skin and getting that dry skin off. Um, also, charcoal masks um, are very good for the summer season. I would do both of these at night. Never, always before you sleep. I don't want to, I don't want you doing this before you put your makeup on. I feel like to put this on and then to detox all night and let your face rest is the most effective. I, like I said, keep with sea salt, dead sea salt specifically, the higher salt content the better, and charcoal masks. I'm also, instead of using regular Biore strips, I'm starting to use charcoal strips. I actually got these for 99 cents at Dollar Tree as well as this charcoal mask. I actually got this as a gift, so I'm not sure how much the Dead Sea ones, and I've only seen them at like Walmart or Target, the, the Dead Sea specific ones that help with your face. And to close it out, anti-age, because I'm 36 and I'm starting to be proactive, the best on the market that works for my skin, the only one I haven't tried is Cindy Crawford's Ageless Beauty, which I really want to get. It's just a little bit out of my price range right now, but Mary Kay is a little bit cheaper of an option. It is a little bit on the pricier side. This is um, both... This is the lotion and this is the moisturizer. So I wash my face and then I put the lotion on. I actually got this as a Christmas gift as a set. Um, and it lasts me all year. So <laughs> I don't do it every day. Um, if you do it every day, you're going to obviously need to buy more. But it's really hard to, to find people that still sell Mary Kay. Um, so hopefully you know someone in your area or you can get it online. 
I'm trying to think of how much it costs. I would say at the most like 35 bucks for this set, but I could be wrong because it's been a while since I ordered it. I usually ask for it for Christmas because I know it lasts me the full year. Oh, as far as deodorant, my favorite is Degree Sexy Intrigue. It smells amazing, and I love that it usually comes in two packs. I can keep one in my car and keep one in my house. <laughs> you don't have to get the two packs, but I think the two pack is like $5. Like I said, this smells really amazing. I don't sweat as much. Like, obviously I sweat, but I don't think I have a problem with sweating. So, if you are an over-sweater, I would stick with the loom. But if you're a regular sweater, degree works. <laughs> Alright, so I hope this was helpful. If you liked it, please hit the like button below. I'm sorry it was crazy and it was like an hour and 48 minutes long. But like I said, it ranges from everywhere. I went through my entire house. I hope this helps you have an amazing summer and to be prepared. See you all next time. Love and light. Bye.